An infraorbital nerve block will anesthetize the skin of the face from the lower eyelid down to the upper lip. It's a great block for any painful procedure of this region, which is commonly a laceration repair. This is especially helpful if repairing the vermilion border, as a local injection may cause tissue swelling, which can distort the anatomy, leading to an inferior cosmetic outcome. The infraorbital foramen is on the infraorbital rim in a vertical line with the pupil if looking straight forward. You can inject here through the skin, but I prefer, as most do, the intraoral approach. Before an intraoral injection, I recommend applying topical lidocaine to the site, which can be done with viscous lidocaine on a 2x2 gauze or with a commercially available lidocaine product, leaving it in place for a couple of minutes. Using a 25 to 27 gauge, one and a half inch needle, insert it through the mucosa of the second premolar, that's the fifth tooth over, and aim up to the foramen, which is about two centimeters from the mucosa. Aspirate and inject two to three mLs of local anesthetic. If you're very careful to not poke yourself, you can place a finger over the foramen to feel the anesthetic infiltrate and prevent it from going into the lower eyelid with some gentle pressure. I'm Dr. Jess Mason, procedure performed by Dr. Tracy Wane.